I think all good teams and really great teams, you know, there's an offense and a defensive identity and really you need to compete against each other every single day. Great teams are the ones that compete and really make each other better. Uh, when I'm going against Jason Peters, uh, we're both going to make each other better. And I think that's what we need to do on, on both sides of the ball. And then when we go out and play other offenses or other defenses, we'll be prepared. You just can't turn it on all of a sudden at once. And that's the same mentality we're going to have uh, when the season comes around. How about the jet sweep? Even better. Touchdown. How about the jet sweep for a touchdown? And Luck in some trouble. Gonna get sacked. Connor Barwin got him around the ankles. Look for fade. There it is. And he's there for the touchdown. Third down. Luck's in trouble and down he goes once again. This time it was Betty Logan who got to him. Our whole thing was to come out there and make a statement and let that statement, you know, go throughout the season. You know, once the ball kick off, every game from here on out is like a game to switch because you can't take, you know, no game for granted. This is the gym I played in high school. But when I played here, we used to fill the gym up. I mean, my school was definitely more of a basketball school than a football school. I thought I was a basketball player. I enjoyed it more. Basketball was, you know, probably more fun than playing football, really. Maybe because I was supposed to be playing football. But whenever I come home, I always get a basketball workout in and a workout in the weight room. Did you get that? My whole career, I've made one big switch and I've made a couple small switches with, with schemes. Obviously, this is a switch from outside linebacker to defensive end this year. Uh, not as big as going from offense to defense, but it did prepare me early on, you know, that I'm capable of making those kind of switches. Um, and this year, obviously, I was excited about the switch because it'll mean I'll get to rush the passer more instead of having to drop back in coverage as much as you do as an outside linebacker. I know I sucked in basketball. I couldn't dribble, I couldn't do a layup to save my life. So my cousin Richard Logan talked me into coming out trying out for a football team. I wasn't good at all, wasn't athletic. I just started playing football because I wanted to do something to get out the house. I hate going home, just sitting in the house doing nothing. I was a tight end and a defensive end. I was horrible. Like, uh, I didn't know how to run no routes. I didn't know what a seven route was. I didn't know anything about football. I just want to go out there and just play. But I never want to quit and give up. For me, quitting is like a sign of weakness. So that was my one thing. I never want to quit and let them down or let the people that looked up to me down. Anytime you understand where you come from, it always makes you, you know, be a more appreciative and just humble to see the progression that they're making. When I'm on the football field, you know, I tell people that what you see on the football field is not the person you're gonna get it, you know, reality. But, you know, I'm on the football field, I'm a different person. I just got a job to do. But when I'm off the field, you know, you got to learn how to turn the switch off and just enjoy life. This training camp was my eighth training camp, and obviously it was a grind like every year is, but this one was one with a new system, a lot of new guys, new coaches, and it was really a six-week process of uh, competing against each other, everybody buying into the new system uh, and trying to get better every single day. Come out of my hips and go. go. No, do it again. Come out of my hips. Post. There it is. Good. Well done. That's it. I'll be next to Benny for the most part this year. It's been great playing next to him. I didn't play next to him as much the last couple of years because he's been in the middle. He's such an instinctive playmaker. 
once he got, you know, the hang of what they was asked for, he pretty much was his natural. It's gonna be a great thing to see, you know, him uh, using his pass rusher skills to actually rush more than he was dropping in coverage the past couple of years. And just from that inside position, he's somebody that shows up all the time making plays and really uh, can cover you if you make a mistake from time to time, and, and we'll do that for each other. Not only just, you know, embrace this last preseason game we're gonna play in, uh, just go out there, be dominant, and just, you know, take the same attitude and mentality to the season. It doesn't happen right away, but the best teams, the best defensive lines, they take ownership of the game, of their room, but we're the ones out on the field. We need to be the ones calling the games, calling the stunts, holding each other accountable. Uh, and that carries over to every position group in the entire locker room is when the players are holding each other accountable. That's when you have the best teams. It's all about the guys in the locker room, the culture that you display and what you continue to feed on and bring back from the past years continue to this day. The things we were doing in the locker room and on the practice field was here before we got here. It was just passed down from you know, generation to generation and is here with us now, so we want to make sure we maintain that culture, continue you know, that physical, ego style of football.